Late word, the Victory Parade in Boston now postponed until Wednesday. And along the New England coast tonight, this storm has been deadly. Meteorologist Rob Marciano there last week, now back there tonight. Rob? David, it has been blowing and snowing all day long here, and the waves have been relentlessly pounding this shoreline, throwing even more sea spray up and covering these damaged homes with more ice. This is an area still reeling from the blizzard less than a week ago. The last thing they needed was another big one. Tonight, that massive storm humbling the Northeast. In Rye, New York, two people were killed on ice-covered roads. And in New York City, salt and snow seeping into electrical systems, blowing this manhole cover 25 feet high. One person injured. Icy tracks to blame for stranding this busy subway line. Commuters stuck for hours. For the city of Boston, it's been the snowiest week on record. We're asking people if you can't stay off the roads, uh, try and take public transportation. Diane Virgilio has been plowing streets around the clock. It's really tough. Uh, it's hard to keep up with it. Uh, just coming down too fast. Along the Massachusetts coast, high winds and waves continue to batter the already badly damaged homes in Marshfield and Situate. This is a navigational bell buoy. It weighs over 14,000 pounds. It's supposed to be a half a mile offshore, but the storms have been so violent this week, it ripped it right off its mooring. Back in Boston, remember Stephanie Turner? We dug her out after last week's storm. We found her reliving that moment, stuck again on Groundhog Day, on her way to work after a little help. David, clearly this storm has been punishing New England. These winds will subside somewhat tonight, but the temperatures already dropped, and we've got another cold shot coming in towards the end of the week. This has just been a brutal stretch of winter, David. Brutal, particularly for New England there. Rob, thank you.